Um, so, Carrie, last week we wrapped up our um, our feature on uh, doing the dual booting with Ubuntu and Windows XP on a Windows XP system. Mm -hmm. um, so I want to just kind of, you know, that has finished. So after the show went to, you know, when we finished broadcasting last week, it finished off. Everything went really well. Mm -hmm. um, so I want to just boot up that system for the first time. Um, and the only thing that you're not going to see is, is what I saw at the end of the installation. It said installation's complete. Click finish to reboot and stuff like that. So right. that's fine. Um, so now I'm, I've just got my virtual machine up here, but I'll just uh, pull that up so that you can see kind of how things look from the first boot. So now this is the grub menu. This is what we were talking about last week, uh, how after setting up our dual partition, you're now able to select either Ubuntu or Microsoft Windows XP. How awesome. So this is a menu that you are going to receive after doing that dual boot partition setup, just as we did uh, on the air within the past uh, couple of weeks. So I'm just going to let that boot up. As you know, I selected Ubuntu uh, 8.10 there. That's going to boot right up. And this is, uh, as you know, uh, exactly you know, everybody could have followed along and done this with us. Mm -hmm. Oh, my poor daughter. Yeah, she's <laughs> not feeling so hot, eh? No, just before Christmas, too, eh? Mm. So, yeah. There we go. So now the Ubuntu bootloader is going to come up, and that's going to go right through. Mm. Lots more questions you know to what? plow through here. Sorry, I, oh, sorry. I should probably get... <laughs> go you, ahead. What's funny is that because I'm running Ubuntu right now and my virtual machine is booted Ubuntu, I'm, I'm not even really noticing that, uh, well, there's my virtual machine because <laughs> it looks, you know, it's all part of, part of the same seamless uh, integration. So this is actually the virtual machine that we just booted. Um, so this is the dual partition with Windows XP that we had set up, and it works really nice. So then if we want to boot into Windows XP, we just shut down just like we normally would our Ubuntu system. And then that's going to basically close down that operating system just like it normally would. And we're going to get that Grub menu again. And that Grub menu is going to give us a chance to load Windows XP. And the reason we want to do that is if you've got applications that aren't compatible with Ubuntu, and you're just learning, you know, let's say you are just learning to uh, use Linux, and you don't want to be tied down 100% to Linux because you're afraid that, you know, maybe my games won't work or my applications that I like won't work. Uh, then this way you can just switch back to Microsoft Windows at any time just with a simple reboot. So I've just highlighted Windows XP, and you'll see that now uh, that's going to boot right into Windows XP within this, uh, within this setup. There it goes. Oh, I'm still zoomed in. There we go. Taking it one step further, just with my setup as a virtual machine, I've actually got Windows XP loading on that face of the uh, cylinder. So this is a very cool setup as well, if you'd like to set it up that way. But that's not really the purpose of this demonstration. Uh, so then, again, I've just booted directly into Windows XP. No harm done. Nothing to it. That's all there is to our uh, dual booting. It's that's all, it? It's done and done, yeah. So then we've got a working Windows XP, a working Ubuntu installation on the same computer. Okay. You're able to switch back and forth between them at any time. Okay, yeah. I yeah. just get it. You just got it? I got it. It's just how we rebooted there and got into yeah. Windows XP, and then we can reboot again and get back into Ubuntu, and you can just go back and forth. So okay. if if there's programs that are tying you down to Windows, not the we're, like we're the purpose here is not to switch you to Ubuntu or switch you to Linux. It's just that we're demonstrating that uh, that this is something that you can do mm -hmm. uh, is doing the dual boot. So if you're interested in Linux, you can do this uh, and still leave your Windows XP installed and be able to ac access that and use it as you wish. Great. Um, question from QCJN uh, in the chat room, and they say. Robbie, do we have to install XP in VirtualBox or use the one that we already have on the computer from no, no. Dual Boot? When I, when I did this demonstration, everything that you saw me do, you can walk through with a real Windows XP system. A virtual machine is, is essentially like a real computer as far as the operating system is concerned. So when I brought it up in, virtual, in a virtual machine, only reason I did that is because my host operating system allows me to zoom in and out. Um, and, of course, I don't want to be reformatting my real computer every time I do a show. Um, so I use virtualization so that I can demonstrate what you will be doing on a real system. Um, you don't need to use a virtual, uh, virtual machine at all, but you can if you'd like to do it this way. But what you saw me do in the past you know, three episodes that we've uh, covered uh, dual booting, everything that you saw can be done on a real production system as well. It's, a, it's the exact same thing. 